Today we're going to look at the graph data structure challenge presented by TopCoder. Now a graph is a representation of uh, nodes or vertices that are connected by edges. Now what makes uh, graphs different than a linked list or a binary tree is that the important data held by the graph is contained within those edges rather than the nodes or vertices that connect that are connected by the edges. Um, examples of graph are um, data structures like uh, Google Maps in which uh, you're looking for the shortest distance between two points or the shortest time it takes to get from one point to the next. Um, and as you can see those points or those uh, times or distances are the edge values um, that connect those two points. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at this data structure so that we can figure out what's going on, how it's built, and what we can do with it. Okay, so the base of every data structure uh, is built on its vertex or its vertices, um, and each of these vertices are a node basically um, that just hold a location in the graph. Um, so my vertex class here is going to be compromised of uh, a name because we have to have some a way to identify our vertex and it will also contain something called degree. Now we'll get to degree a little bit later but we're going to initialize each vertex at degree zero at degree equals zero and we again we'll talk about that in a little bit. Now as I said the graph is created by two primary structures, that's the vertex, which we're looking at right now, and the edge. Um, now edges are, you can be, you can visualize an edge as a line uh, or a line segment that connects one vertices or one vertex to another vertex. Um, and so I've built an edge class that's going to define that connection. Um, and each edge class is going to be compromised of the name of the edge class and to make it simple we are just concatenating the string for the verte uh, vertex names uh, and we're doing this in sorted order so that we can get uh, because our vertex is going to be connected along one edge only uh, between two nodes so uh, what I've done is uh, if vertex.name is less than vertex1.name is less than vertex2.name um, then I'm going to concatenate those two names together else I'm going to concatenate uh, vertex2 name to vertex or vertex1 name to vertex2 name um, and then each edge is going to hold a, an array of vertices um, and again these vertices are just vertex 1 and vertex 2. All right. And uh, both in the vertex and in the edge methods, I've created an equality operator. And this is just a basic equality operator that says one edge is going to be equal to whatever edge is passed in. Um, and again, this is all based on the name of the edge. OK. Now, to represent these uh, these values in the graph, um, as I said before, a graph is uh, built off of vertices and edges. I had to create a data structure or a class structure that would hold all of these edges. Um, vertices themselves can just be held in an array, um, but and edges also can be held in an array. But if I want to pass those edges in, I have to uh, have a data structure that will actually hold those edges. So what I've done is I've created an edge set class and again this is just creating a set which is uh, um, unique values within a list um, and so in order to create that set I initialize that edge set to an empty array 
And then when I'm adding edges into that edge set, uh, what I do is I check and see if that edge already exists in the array. Now, if you remember, when I create an edge, I create it so that uh, the name of the edge is actually that string value in sorted order. And so when an edge is passed into the edge set, it checks to see if that edge is already there. Um, if it is, it just returns and doesn't add anything in. If it's not, it uh, pushes uh, that new edge into that edges array. Now, when it does that, uh, we, we need to take a look back at the vertex and we remember that the degree in the vertex is set to zero. Now, that degree is basically just that it's saying that that node is connected to another node. So every time that degree increases, we are increasing the number of connections to that vertex or node. So when I add an edge to the edge set, I have to say, hey, look, there is a connection that's been made. And so I'm adding a degree um, to each of the vertices on the edge. Um, okay, and then when, when we, we'll get to it in, in the graph uh, class in a second, um, but I, I'm holding a method in this edge set that can count the number of edges, which basically counts the total number of degrees in any edge set. And then finally, uh, we needed a, um, a method that shows us that an edge is in fact part of that edge set. Um, which again we use up here, um, if edge is in edge, then return. So I've created a method that asks whether or not that edge name is included in that edges array. Okay, and that finally takes us back to our graph structure, the primary structure that we needed. Um, we have all of our base structures with the vertex, the edge, and the edge set. All right, so to create a graph, um, we have to pass in a series of, ver of vertices, an array of vertices, and an array of edges. Um, we initialize it at uh, the values, vertices, and edges. Um, then uh, we need to test whether or not a vertex exists within the graph. Um, and the way we do that is basically just we see if the array vertices includes the value um, or the name for uh, V. Um, then again, we're testing, we have a method that tests whether or not an edge exists in the edges array. Um, and this is very similar to the edge set test. Um, again, we're just testing to see whether or not that edge is actually there. And we're using the method edge in that edges set. Um, then, the next method tests whether or not, um, or tests the adjacency of one vertex to another. Um, now, this is going to be very, very similar to the edge question mark method, um, except it's going to actually take in vertices as its parameters. Um, we remember that an edge is built by connecting one vertex to another vertex. And here, this is just a redundant method to say, hey, look, if I give you a series of vertex or vertices, um, did these make did these vertices make an edge in the graph? Um, and so what we do is we use the method um, edge question mark and we pass in a new uh, edge uh, uh, object that is created by the value at vertex one and the value at vertex two. And if that edge exists, then those two vertices are adjacent to one another. Okay, um, and then the methods after this just tell us how many connections that we have in our graph. Um, so the degree method will tell us the total connections for every vertex in the graph. Um, and all it does is sum those methods by using the reduce method um, built into Ruby. Uh, the next method is min degree. So what this tells us is if we take a look at all of our, vertice, our vertices, um, 
is there any vertice or vertex in the graph that contains the fewest amount of connections? Um, now we're going to talk about the special graph that we're creating um, in a second when we run through the tests. Um, but the special graph, uh, there is no real min value. All the all the vertexes, all the vertices. Um, have the same number of connections. So the min value and the max value will be the same. And again, that next method, max degree, uh, tells us the maximum number of connections of any uh, vertex in the graph. And to uh, make these uh, methods less repetitive, I've built in a helper method called get degree array. And all this really does is it builds an array based on or injected with uh, the values of each of the vertex uh, degree values. Um, so this allows me to quickly go over the array and get the minimum value and get the maximum value uh, from that degree array. And it also allows me to sum that array in order to get the total number of degrees in the graph. Okay, so let's go ahead and, and take a look at the tests, and then we can talk more about what we're seeing the graph do. So we'll run the RSpec, and again, this is bundle R, exec RSpec, and we're running that specific graph spec file. Uh, we go ahead and do that, and we can see that it runs 10 tests and has zero failures, and those tests are described uh, because I used format documentation. Um, so it says should have adjacent vertices and uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what that means. Um, so the graph should have uh, uh, adjacent vertices. Um, so it should have one vertex connected to another and it tests that by actually looking at adjacency uh, with uh, by passing in a value um, or two values vertex A and vertex B. Okay, um, so that's testing line 50 to 52. Uh, it should have adjacent vertices. Uh, it's going to pass, or using the adjacent method that we built into the graph here, it's going to pass in two vertex values, and these are uh, values set at, vert at a new vertex, so value A and value B. And it's going to test whether or not those vertices are one in the graph, and two, do those uh, vertices make an edge in the graph? And if it does, it will return the value true. Then uh, the next test is should not have adjacent vertices. Um, and again, this is the same thing, sort of, uh, except it passes in a vertex that doesn't exist in our current graph. Um, in such case, there will not be an edge created with those two vertices vertices, so it should return that false value. Um, this should have degree. Basically, this is just checking to see how many connections are made in the graph. And this test uh, tells us that it should say, or there should be 56 total connections, um, which if we take a node, and a node cannot repeat itself while we're building the graph, so it can't connect to itself. So we're not building any loops in this graph. We're only building edges. Um, from one vertex to a, a different vertex. Um, so if there are eight values that are passed in, uh, if we see how the, the, the vertices are built, they're built off the letters A through H, so eight possible uh, vertices. Um, and so if we do, if we calculate how many of those should be, uh, we'll see that uh, that every uh, vertex will only connect to seven other uh, vertices, and so eight times seven is 56. Um, should have min degree. Um, now, again, this test talks about a very specific type of graph. Um, when we create this graph, uh, or when the test creates this graph, uh, it takes each of these nodes, these vertex, or these vertices, um, and it maps those uh, string values to a, a vertex um, and then it builds an edge set using those eight values and how it does this is it takes this list of uh, 
uh, strings and it iterates over that list and within that each iteration it's going to iterate over that list again um, and as long as vertex 1 and vertex 2 being passed in to each of those iterations are not equal, it will build an edge. So if I have the vertices A, B, C, and D, it will build me A, B, A, C, A, D. Um, then because of the way we have this uh, edge set up, it sorts the string values. So the next will be B, C, and then B, D, and then we will have C, D and that will be the total number. Now with eight, eight uh, string characters, uh, we have A, B, A, C, etc. Uh, and so 56 total um, connections, 56 total edges. Um, okay, so uh, that's how we're calculating that 56 there. Um, now again, uh, we were talking about min degree, so every one of those vertices uh, will have seven connections to the seven other uh, vertices in that graph. And because it's that special graph called the complete graph, um, and every one of the vertexes have those seven connections, the maximum degree for each of those vertexes will also be seven. All right, so uh, we can go ahead and, and show this, uh, manually show this test. Um, let's go ahead and increase this window size for the console, clear our screen, and walk down to the test. Um, now, I've basically just built each of these tests uh, just as we saw in the spec file. Um, so I'm using variable G to create a new graph uh, using the vertices, uh, again, A through H. Um, which are going to be mapped as new vertexes for each of those letters. And the edges that, again, just like the spec were built, I'm um, creating those, that complete graph uh, by attaching every node to every other node. Okay, so I've built that graph. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to run the edge count. So this is going to show exactly how many edges have been created in this graph. Okay, so running the Ruby file, and we can see that 28 total edges have been uh, created um, with this graph. Now, uh, the next test uh, creates um, a new vertex, or tests whether or not a vertex exists within that graph. And so we're passing in vertex at uh, the name A, and we're testing to see uh, by using the vertex method if I create a new uh, vertex with the value name A, um, if that vertex already exists in the graph. And this should return true in this instance. Oops. And so we can see that contains vertex A is true. The next test uh, wonders if we contain if the graph contains the edge that is built by the value at vertex one or zero and vertex one. So that'll be A B if we take a look at our verts. Um, so again, we're just using that test uh, edge test method uh, by passing in those uh, vertex values, and again, this should also pass as true. As you can see, it does. Uh, the next test does not contain a vertex with this string value, A, B, C, D, within the graph. So if we take a look, if we're creating the vertexes, vertices, just like the test did, we won't get a concatenated vertex, A, B, C, D. They'll only have one character each in their vertex names. So if we run this, it should uh, come up false. And it does. Uh, the next uh, tests whether or not a vertex or the graph contains a loop. Now, a loop is a special edge. It connects the vertex to itself. Um, so you can imagine that loop being created in that vertex. 
Uh, so we should not have an edge uh, that's called a a. And if we remember how it's set up, um, it only creates an edge if vertex one and vertex two are not equal. All right. So we run this test. This should be false again because we don't create any loops in our graph, and it is false. Uh, now again, adjacent vertices. We talked about this in a second ago. Um, the adjacent C test is testing whether or not an edge has been made using these two um, vertex values. So we'll save that and run it. As you can see, contains adjacent vertices A and B is in fact true. Um, now it's testing whether or not uh, the adjacent vertices do not exist. So again, we're passing in vertex name A um, and vertex name AA and we will find that vertex AA is not actually a vertex that's being created here, so it should not exist. So we should return false here. And the adjacency of ver these vertices do not exist, so it is false. Uh, the next are the total number of connections in the graph. I remember this is just the sum of all the degrees of every uh, vertex. Um, now this has a special, well, anyway, uh, so again, every node or every vertex has a degree number. Those numbers will be added together uh, or summed together to get the total number of connections. Um, and if there are eight nodes and each are connected to seven other nodes, we should get a value of 56 when we return it and we get the value of 56. Uh, then again, we talked about this being a complete graph. Uh, the complete graph means that every vertex is connected to every other vertex in um, the graph itself. So if there are eight total vertices and every vertice is connected to the seven other nodes, the minimum degree value for any vertex will be seven and the maximum degree value for any vertex will also be seven. So save this and we'll run this file one more time. As we can see, min number of connections per vertex is seven, max number of connections per vertex is also seven. Okay, so we've tested all the methods that are have been built into the RSpec. Um, we've shown that the, the graph uh, works, it can, it's created uh, correctly, um, it creates uh, edges from the vertices that are passed in, it builds an edge set that um, just contains each of those edges as they're created and then passes both the vertices and the edge set into the graph to build up that graph. Um, we've tested uh, degree values for each of the vertex. We've tested adjacency uh, between two um, vertices. We've tested whether or not edges exist in a graph and uh, that pretty much covers everything that we've seen. All right, if you, again, if you have any questions, please, please uh, post them in the forum. I will answer them as soon as I possibly can. Um, all right, that completes it.